I find that if you actually review based on the actual actual reviews itself, you go to reviews, right? You go to reviews, and when you look at here, you can actually just scrape off all this content. Okay, you just you just go like this, and then copy this. So let's say you go to ChatGPT. Okay, so you go to ChatGPT, and then I'm just gonna use one of my templates that I have. So I'm just gonna put um, summarize these reviews. Right? So it will give you all these different reviews in in a summarized form, right? So. Of course, he has positive feedback, negative feedback, right? So you get the gist, all right? So you get you get all these new insights written in a completely different way. Then you just embed it into your into your page, like what I did. So, of course, this is a shorter version of it. There's another blog that I did, but I probably put in another video. It's a bit different than this one because this particular keyword, tobacconist, is a branded and also a search, um, a navigational keyword. So it's a branded keyword and a navigational keyword. So you need to pretty much understand what those keywords mean before you even write the content, okay? So you, you got your, you got your um, summary over here and you, use, you just take all this thing, copy and paste, put inside. That's all you have to do. And there are some images you can talk about here, but I would suggest that when you look it through, when you look to reviews, try to understand like what are some of the um, reviews and the customers are talking about. Maybe there's some um, one-star reviews. Why is it one-star review? So you can you can ask ChatGPT to summarize that for you. That's how that's how I wrote this particular blog.